What's up guys, my name is Brandon, you guys can call me Swifters, and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel today. I have got a very important Fortnite video for you all, because in today's video, we are going to be talking about the playground mode that was removed from the game. Now I know, I know we all have questions. Why did Epic remove the playground mode? Why has Epic not fixed the playground mode already? And when is the playground mode coming back to the game? So in today's video, I wanted to go ahead and let you all know exactly why the playground mode was removed from the game and when we may be able to expect it to come back to Fortnite. Now, before we get started with today's video, I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below if you guys even played the playground mode when it was in the game. Personally, I haven't even played it and I actually haven't even watched any gameplay of it. I really wanted to be a surprise for me when I eventually go into it just to sort of figure it out and try it out for myself. But as I said, let me know in the comment section below if you guys actually played the playground mode when it was added into the game for just a brief amount of time. So I don't know about you guys, but I actually have a lot of questions why the playground mode was removed and I'm a little bit unsure. So I had to do a little bit of investigative research to figure out why exactly Epic Games decided to remove it and what's exactly going on and why the developers took it out of the game. So as we all know, just the other day, the playground mode was added into Fortnite, but just a couple of hours after after it was added to the game, the developers actually removed it. Now I know we all have a ton of questions about why it was removed and it's awesome because an Epic Games developer posted something on Reddit to give the community a more in-depth explanation for the issues regarding why the Playground a Limited Time Mode was taken offline. So the developer said in the Reddit post, I'll see what I can do about a more complete answer once everything is fixed, but here's a slightly condensed version. When you make matches for everyone 1-4 to four people, it requires between 25 times and 100 times as many matches as normal per 100 people depending on their party size. Playground Limited Time Mode launch was very popular and the poor matchmaker was trying to create and allocate matches faster than it could keep up with so a backlog built up. This strained the system which affected matchmaking times for regular game modes too. In order to preserve the base play experience, we took Playgrounds offline while we made improvements to the matchmaking system. We've been working on major matchmaking improvements over the last 24 hours, and we've also isolated Playground matchmaking to its own cluster, so if it gets backed up, the worst that happens is longer Playground matchmaking times while the regular modes are unaffected. We're testing all of this now and we're working hard to get Playgrounds live again as soon as we think it's ready. Additional comment, there is a good chance based on the data I saw that Matchmaker was creating online game lobbies faster than any game in history was ever done. We've got world-class engineers, but even we are sometimes blown away by how popular this game is. Just wanted to throw a public shout out to those awesome people working to make Matchmaker even more the best. So that was the very first update that Epic Games actually issued right after the Playground mode was taken offline. And just to go ahead and briefly consolidate all of that, basically players were trying to play the Playground mode so frequently that the servers couldn't handle it. And because of that, it was affecting matchmaking for regular game modes like solo, duos, and squads. And because of that, the developers needed to take a playground offline just so they could fix it and just so the regular game modes weren't affected. So that was the first update and they actually issued a second update shortly after and then they said, we're continuing to test improvements made to our matchmaking services for the playground a limited time mode. We want to get you out there and let you unleash your creativity, but also want to ensure a positive experience once we enable this game mode again. We'll give you more updates and a timeline as soon as we have one. So of course, with that second update, they're just reinforcing the idea to all of us that they're working as hard as they can to bring the playground mode online and they want to make sure that once it's brought online again, there are no additional issues. So after that update, Epic's technical director posted a reply over on Reddit and he said, the real update is that the team is working extremely hard and we have made progress in fits and starts. It's a hard problem. We've made progress throughout the day and have been continually load testing changes in an effort to get to a performance level where we're comfortable turning playgrounds back on. We hope to share some details soon, but right now we're all focused on solving the problems that are keeping us from enabling the mode again. I'm optimistic about some of the recent breakthroughs that our team has come up with. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. We are all at least as bummed as you are that it's not already back online and we're working to get you back in there as soon as we possibly can. We'll try to keep you posted as often as we can, especially if we have any new information. Thanks everybody for your patience. 
So again, just restating the fact that they are working tirelessly around the clock to put the playground mode back online. And after that third update, they gave us another update just the other day, and they said that Epic is still aiming to release playground again as soon as possible. The servers will gradually be rolled out at all regions across all platforms. We're continuing testing on our matchmaking improvements and are still aiming to open the playground limited time mode as soon as we're confident in our improvements. Once we have confirmed that our testing was successful, we will begin gradually rolling servers out to all regions and platforms until it's available to all players. Not only that, about an hour ago, Fortnite posted this on Twitter and they said, we're continuing to test improvements that are needed to enable the playground limited time mode. We'll have another update shortly. So right now it's just a waiting game. We're waiting to see what Epic Games decides to tell us and what they decide to do in regard to the playground mode. I don't know about you guys, but as disappointed as I am that I actually can't play the playground mode right now, I'm really not all that upset at Epic Games. As I said, they're working tirelessly around the clock to make sure that the playground mode is better than ever when it eventually comes back online. Now, as I said earlier, I know a ton of people are super upset and really frustrated at Epic Games because this limit time mode wasn't perfect upon its release. Now with every single game, with every single update, there are always glitches and there are always issues and that seemed to be a pretty reoccurring thing here in Fortnite and I honestly have to attribute that to the fact that Fortnite is such a popular game. Millions of people are playing Fortnite every single day and I honestly feel like the servers are just sometimes overloaded and there really isn't anything that Epic Games can do. I know a lot of people sometimes say, well Epic Games should have tested this better, they should have tested tested it on a larger scale than they already did and it shouldn't have been an issue in regard to the playground mode not working or really any other game mode or update that they've released in the recent time. Now all I'm trying to say is I don't know why people are so frustrated and so upset. I think that's a little bit ridiculous. Fortnite is a free game and as I said the developers are constantly pushing out updates on a weekly basis. Sometimes even a daily basis they're adding new content into Fortnite. So I really encourage you guys to not get super frustrated because the playground mode isn't here but I can to show you guys that Epic Games is working around the clock. They've got their best engineers on this to make sure that the playground limited time mode doesn't have any issues when it's brought back online again. Now we honestly don't have an exact timeline as to when the playground mode will be added back into the game. I've got my fingers crossed that hopefully by later today everything will fix itself out and if not we may expect to see the playground mode back in Fortnite sometime this weekend or possibly on Monday or Tuesday. Regardless guys that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I just wanted to go ahead and let you guys all know why exactly the playground mode was removed here in Fortnite Battle Royale. Hopefully this cleared up some questions that you guys may have had regarding why it was removed. As I said in the beginning of today's video, let me know down in the comment section below if you guys had the opportunity to play the playground mode when it was in Fortnite. Regardless guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like down below, subscribe if you're new. With all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be sure to catch you guys later.